I had to find a way to stop them trying to kill me. You made a serious mistake. Not as serious as yours, I fear. Let's not stand on ceremony here, Mr. Wayne. Peace has cost you your strength. Victory has defeated you. Theatricality and deception. Powerful agents to the uninitiated. But we are initiated, aren't we, Bruce? Members of the League of Shadows. <laughs> and you betrayed us. Yes, you were asking for a game. By a gang of psychopaths. I am. The League of Shadows. I am here to fulfill Raza Ghul's destiny. You fight like a younger man. There's nothing held back. Is admirable, but mistaken. Darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but blinding. <laughs> the shadows betray you because they belong to me. I will show you where I have made my home whilst preparing to bring justice. Then I will break you. Your precious armory, gratefully accepted. We will need it. Break first. Your spirit. Oh, your body. Mr. Merriweather, I understand your field is geology. That's right. Then I'm sure you can appreciate these stones in my most recent acquisition. The most striking display of rubies, tourmaline, sapphire, topaz, 
Judging by the high chromium content of the rubies, I'd say they come from the hydrothermal deposits on the Tibetan Plateau. Which isn't surprising, considering we're on the southeastern slope of Mount Everest at about 22,000 feet, I should say. 25, actually. You must not get many tourists. My guests and I place a premium on our privacy. We don't want any unwelcomed guests, such as men sent by governments who disagree with my political philosophy. And what is your philosophy? Are you some kind of anarchist? Quite the opposite. I believe in an orderly world. A far cry from the chaos we find ourselves in today. We are building a new future here. A new beginning for mankind. A new chapter in human history will open right here on my island. Island? Forgive me. Sometimes I do get ahead of myself. Allow me to explain. We're almost ready. I programmed the laser sequence, and I'm making some last-minute adjustments to a South American site. I do have every confidence in you, my dear. She's working with him. You see, Mr. Merriweather, not only do I intend to create a new future, I intend to create a new world. At each one of these points, I have hidden a new form of laser, one that can penetrate the Earth's crust down into the mantle itself. The global earthquakes. Those were only tests. Soon, I will activate all of these lasers together, and when I do, they will produce worldwide earthquakes, the likes of which we have never felt before. Killing everyone on the planet. More than that. There comes a time when a house has been so damaged by termites that you must not only kill the termites, but demolish the house and build again. The quakes are only a minor side effect. The real goal of this project is to have these lasers of mine produce massive fissures in the Earth's crust, releasing millions of tons of molten lava. Now, Mr. Merriweather, you're the geologist. Tell me what happens next. Once that much lava is released, the tectonic plates would begin to settle. And the surface of the planet will shrink, just like letting air out of a balloon. What if the surface of the Earth shrinks? The oceans will cover the Earth. Diabolical. Visionary. I am going to let mankind begin anew. Here, in this island paradise. The only place that will remain above water on my brave new world. And that is why I have gathered the finest minds, the very best that mankind has to offer. We will repopulate and start a new human race. Pity you won't be able to join us. Are you revoking my invitation? No. Oh, I intend to do more than that, Mr. Bashir. Not only... Have I brought the greatest minds to my mountain retreat? But I have also hired the greatest protection that money can buy. I believe you already know my newest employee. Harry, guess who's here? How's my best? My wallet in the uh, solitary. Could I? Oh, oh, please, 
Nighty night, boys. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. going to stand over here for a while. Don't leave me, please. No, no. I'll just be over here. Goodbye. Go, baby. How are you? Go, baby. You go, baby. Yes, Lord. I think Roseburger ate them all up. I'll be leaving some bones. <laughs> well, if he did, we're going to ship them back to Times Square. Grissom uh, resurfaces. <laughs> I'm the acting president, and I say, starting with this anniversary festival, we run the city into the ground. <laughs> Why don't we hear this from Grissom? Yeah. And what's with that stupid grin? Life's been good to me. <laughs> what if we say no? Well, Tony. Nobody wants a war. <laughs> if we can't do business, why, we'll just shake hands and that'll be it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a live one here. <laughs> Oh, there'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. <laughs> Antoine got a little hot under the collar. <laughs> You're crazy. You ever heard of the healing power of laughter? <laughs> now get out of here! You heard him, let's go! Move it, move it! Move it! Then think it over. <laughs> about this Batman and Bob. Remember, you are my number one guy. Yes, sir. people. Maybe we, uh, ought to give them a couple of days to think it over. No. Grease them now. Did. 
glad you did. <laughs>